All right, back for another arena. Let's see how this goes. I feel like winning, um, and I, th I feel like Paladin's one of the better classes. I'm gonna go with it. Start with an Aldor. I always like following the rules. I'm gonna go with the Worgen of the Novice Engineer. Uh, I guess I'll take a Mani. It's better than the than the Rifleman. Scarlet Crusaders a solid three. Hammer Wrath. Uh, Kings or Harvest Golem. I feel like I'm gonna get enough fours, so I'm gonna take the Harvest Golem. Lock in a solid three drop. Uh, there's another one. Shire Sun. Uh, and there's Crew Silver. Hello. Can never have enough of those. Um, what do we have? We have Bluegill. We have Frostwolf Warlord. Uh, Dread Corsair can be really cheap if I have a true silver. Um, or it's a little over cost if, if not. Uh, I think Bluegill's a solid too. I'll take Bluegill over the Frostwolf here. Um, I think Violet Teacher's good here. I don't think I have as pressing a need for Sunfear Protector in a Paladin deck, so I'm going to take the Violet Teacher. There's a Consecration, which will take over the Silver Hand Knight, although, a little sad about that, I do love me a Silver Hand Knight. Uh, Darwolf is pretty good in Paladin, you know, makes your, uh, makes your recruits into surprise two ones, which can be a difference maker, but I think I'm just going to go with the Blood Fan here. Uh, second Consecration, I'll never complain about. Second Truce over, over the Archer Protector, but again, I'll never complain about that. Uh, Venture Co's an easy pick there. Uh, I'm going to go with another... Hmm, another Worgen or another Bloodfen? Hmm, well, that's interesting. That's interesting, because I think I would rather have a Worgen and a 1-1 than just a 3-2. Um, especially since... The Worgen stops a lot of people from playing their three drops. Um, I don't think Blood. Fa yeah. Uh, but on the other hand, having having solid twos is really nice. I think I'll go with the Worgen. I like Worgen a lot. Uh, here, do I go with the Stormpike or the Fairy Dragon? I think I go with the Fairy Dragon here. So it's just a better, uh, better Bloodfen Raptor. I'm gonna go with the Tiger over the Booty Bay. Booty Bay is not very good. Go with the Harvest Golem here over the second tiger. I really like having solid figure ops. Ooh, hello. I think the pick here is Leroy. Um, gives a nice little bit of burst uh, to finish people off. Although Oxtrasis is also not bad. Uh, I think Leroy is more flexible. It's a it's a fireball. Sometimes with a downside, but. I think, you know, if you play smart, you can maximize it. Uh, we go with Archer Protector here. The bubble's real nice. Um, a little low on the on the high end here. So even though I don't think Lord of the Arena is as good quality-wise, uh, I don't know. You know, because I feel like if I want a high-end cards, then um, Lord of the Arena is not fantastic at it. But I think I haven't good enough early game. Yeah, I'm going to take the Lord. I feel this end of my spectrum. Take another Aldor. I'll not complain about that. Fairy Dragon. Uh, I'm going to go with the Stormwind here over the Rocketeer, although the Charger is fine most of the time. Uh, Stormwind Knight or Archmage? A lot of 4s, 2, 4. Oh, but I guess I don't have a lot of creatures I would want to play on 4. Alright, I'll go with the Storm and Knight. I don't think Archmage is going to be that good anyway. Uh, I'm going to go with Guardian over the Frost Elemental here. Uh, go with another Bubble. Mm. Mm. I guess I'll play Kobold Geomancer. Maybe I can combo with the Consecrate and get some value. Kodo is really strong. I think that's a good... Nice way to round out the deck. Okay, so this, this deck's curve is very low. Um, but it has lots of really excellent... Uh, you know, efficient cards, trading capabilities, a couple of peacekeepers to, you know, whittle their guys down to size. So I think it's pretty strong overall. Two consecrates, two true servers, and a hammer of wrath as well. Um, so I think this deck's pretty good. You know, I think it should it should go. You know, assuming I can get out of the sort of like the zero win bracket. You know, I think it should go five or six without too many problems. But of 
course, as always, the uh, you know the matchmaker will have something to say about that. So let's see how this goes. All right. Oh, I should set this up on a. Uh, Heart stats. Holy way. Oh, I get mashed against a mage right off the bat. I love mages. Uh, I think this is a fine hand against a mage. I don't know if I want to peacekeeper turn three. Gonna He's probably just gonna fire blast it. Oh really? I can taste the mana. Okay. Um so that's a little awkward. Can't really elder peacekeep for that. I guess I could kill it. No, I don't think there's any reason for me to kill mm. it. I'll just... Just do for it. So I'll eat one, he'll... Fire Blast one, maybe, and then... Maybe I'll just get the Hammer Breath, the Mana Addict. And be done with it. Harvest Golem is strong, as always. I think that's ultimately correct. Like, I don't, like, you know, on the one hand, the, the Peacekeeper, um, it's nice to just have a 3 3 out there on the board, but I think when he played the Harvest Golem, that calculus changed. Um, because then he could just Harvest Golem into my uh, Peacekeeper and Fire Blast it. And get like a one for a half, I guess you could say. Uh, which I guess is going to happen with the harvest anyway, but if I can get rid of the mana addict um, with the bluegill, then I think that's just a better way to go. You know, if he spends two mana here, fire blasting mm -hmm. a roll one one, then I'm fine with that. Because uh, next turn I'm just going to drop a venture call on him. See what he has to say about that. Hopefully not fireball. <laughs> but we'll see, you know? Maybe he plays a couple of small guys. Oh, okay. It's not a small guy. In that case, I might just true silver it. No, no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drop the venture on. Can kill it if he wants, but he two for ones himself to do so. I'm gonna count this as half a card, and his fire blast is another half a card. Like one and a half for one plus some resources. I wonder. Okay, so that's what he's gonna do. He kill Shield Master on it. Nope. I trade my 1 1 for his uh, damage golem, and I think I escaped that. But I'm pretty much completely unscathed. Okay, that's fine. Alright. Alright. If I can get a 2 for 1 here, I'll probably just take it. Take 3 for 1. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it. No, well, 2 and a half for 1, I guess I would call it. Uh, but I've got a second Consecrate, I've got a strong hand, i got True Silver for whatever play it comes out next with. Two Peacekeepers, if he for some reason decides he wants to uh, venture co. Uh, 
so I feel like I'm in pretty good shape here. I wonder. I should have solutions for most of what he, most things that he could play at this point. <clears throat> Pass me that art light spell. Okay, that's getting too sober. Almost for sure. Let's see if we can find something else here. Or he's just gonna fire blast. Oh no, he's gonna play three. Maybe another harvest golem. Oh, but it's mirror entity. Okay. For justice. It's not counter spell. It's not vaporize. Reporting for duty. It's not ice block or ice barrier, rather. So it's almost certainly mirror entity. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, sad day. Was counter spell or oh, spell bender? Okay, that. that's fine with me. Still get my card. For the king, for honor. Easy to go right to his face. Not really too much I can do about that. Um, once he eats something of mine, I can peacekeeper it and reduce it back down to size. also getting close to Leroy range. I don't have to do that much more damage to him. Let the pain speak to me. doesn't, he has to trade his board. Someday I'll be just like you! Okay, flame strike. Nope. Fireball. Whoa. Okay, so he's probably gonna clear my board here. He should attack into the one one with his Gurubashi. I wonder. Hit my two two storm one with his two three. Or maybe he wants a card off of his acolyte. That might make sense as well. Okay, so, okay, so he is gonna clear my board, sure. Yeah. And it's harvest. Eat my one 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 three and draw a card. Yep. Yep. Okay, so. This is a little troublesome. If I could draw a consecrate here, that would be pretty swell. I guess that's not bad. I'll let him hit me. Once. Reporting for Follow the rule. Yeah. 
So he's gonna draw a bunch more cards off this Cult Master, that's really frustrating. Should run his Harvest into my 1 1. Oh, he's gonna run another card of his Acolyte, too, that works too. This is starting to turn bad. He's gotten four extra draws over me. I guess three extra draws since he also starts up a card. Uh, but either way... Then again, I guess once I hit his 4-2... I mean, he's got three, five, six, seven, eight, like eight damage a turn. I mean, it's not... It's a three turn clock. Barring... I guess another huge creature. Which it doesn't seem like he has. Oh, a shield master? Nope. First kill. That photo is very good. Reporting for two. I don't really even care about spell damage anymore. No, I'm the one who's behind in cards. I think it's still in reasonable shape here. His board can't really deal very well with this Kodo. What if I draw a do? second truce over what or something, I think do? it's basically over. Fireball. It's a little unfortunate. I assume he's gonna kill my golem here as well. Okay. So he's got 1, 2, 3, 6, 8, 9 damage a turn, so I'm dead in 2 turns. Let me think. I can play this to gain strength. I, I, I think I wait for Leroy. To the last possible moment. If this cost six, that would have been an easy play. Six plus four. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Uh, this true server is also going to gain me two life, so I should keep that in mind. I just have to, I just have to dodge a taunt, that's all. What to do? What to do? He's probably going to clear my board again. At which point, I feel like I won't have any choice but to go for it. But at least, at least this time, if like assuming he doesn't, assuming these are blanks, which I, you know, I doubt they are. You what know, in order to, to clear do. this five six, he's gonna at least do. two for one himself. There's one. There's two. There's a fire blast. It's three. Now I just need to dodge a big gun. Okay. What could possibly be in this hand? Okay. We have many Okay. Four, six, seven, eight. Okay. Fine with me. Oh, justice. Pay attention, class. Reporting for That that should be a dead giveaway. He, sh he has to know that he, he needs a taunt here. He has to know it, because there's no reason I would go to go for his face instead of one of his minions, unless I had the win in hand. Mind if I roll need? So he must know. 
sh if he doesn't have a taunt, he has to fire blast his loot hoarder. No, if you don't have an answer, dig for an answer I because there's no style points. I assume he doesn't have an answer if he's doing this. So he might get better fire blast. Nope. Unless this last card is a taunt. He had two cards, potentially. No taunt, no taunt, no taunt. No taunt, please. No taunt, please. Pretty tough first match. Just Mage just gets so I destroyed 16 minions in that game. Mage just gets so much value out of its cards because of its hero power. So it can be a little annoying. Not many important things that I won, so I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the eye. Versus Anduin. All right, now we got a priest. The light shall bring victory. I will fight with honor. What do you got for me, sir? Mm. I guess I don't mind this so much. Yeah, I don't mind that. <clears throat> I'll roll with that. Is someone injured? Mm, suddenly I mind that a little bit more. That's an annoying play, the turn one cleric. Okay, if he doesn't have a turn two follow up, then I'm gonna coin something. Yeah, I'm gonna coin my Scarlet Crusader then. Berserker because if he just runs runs his dude into my Berserker, then he heals it, he draws a card, and you know it's pretty insane value. Basically, you just want to keep him off those card draws. Okay, there's a Morgan. Okay. The question is, which one of these is more annoying? I think it's the Worgen. We must cleanse the Sunwell. Join or die. <clears throat> also leaves it at four. Which is pretty nice. No shadow words. Although I guess if he has shadow word pan, he would have used it. For the king! I guess possibly he might still have it and he just uh, <laughs> was looking to uh, develop his board instead, which is fair. Alright, there's four. Push forward. Kill you. Kill you. Berserker. Done. Plays another small dude, I'm gonna Kodo it and I'll be way ahead. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me! That is not a small dude. <laughs> Aldor, where are you? Aldor. Push forward. Who you want to get? I'm the Guardian of Kings, so if he wants to hit me for seven, I can take it. I mean, what he's probably gonna do is hit something and then heal it, as is probably what he should be doing. 
Um, I've got two elders in my deck. I've got two true silvers to draw. Okay, or he doesn't. Or he just goes right to the face. That's fine. I suppose. Okay. Done and done. Follow the rule. Follow the rule, Push sir. Who you want me? At this point, don't care. The battle. Reporting for duty. Probably gonna have Holy Nova here. Holy Nova would be real sad. Holy Nova kill my Berserker might not be such a bad deal. play the taunt, but the problem with that is if he uh, kills the taunt, I lose. I can... I can Aldor, I guess? No, not Aldor. Guardian of Kings, and hope he doesn't have a 2 damage spell. But Holy Nova does it. Mm. Arcane does. No, I think I just have to kill it. Let's see what I draw. Push forward. Last warning. Got it. Still ahead on board, so I think this is okay. I just wish I hadn't taken so much damage. I mean, still, he invested three cards into that, so I don't think I mind that. Okay. What do I want to do? I wonder. Oh, the storm went. Yeah, let's Behold do that. the might of storm. Who you want me kill? The battle. I assume he just can't nug me for 8. I think the board control is the way to go here since I know at some point I'm going to be in 6 life. True I can't think shot. of a way that he can nug me for that much. I might just take 4 damage on my Stormwind here to kill the taunt. Is someone injured? Oh, he's gonna heal it. So draw a card, okay. Yeah. For the alliance! Who you want me here? Still gonna play it the same way. As long as he can't nug me for eight, might as well be at eight hundred. I feel like if he could have, he would have done it by now. Well, it would t definitely take him multiple cards, unless he just gets obscenely lucky with the. Uh, it's not holy smite. It's uh, I think that draws off the top. Is that even the priest card? I'm not even sure. <laughs> Also spelled Necrogenesis wrong. It's clearly a magic player. <coughs> I must consider. All right, so what's he doing? Holy Nova. Holy Nova would be pretty good here. Engaging TC one oh. thirty into this locator. Hmm. That's a little unfortunate. Well, the tech's gonna die. Then I'm gonna trade off my Stormwind. I think, because I don't think I can afford to. No, I'll just Lord of Arena. 
Ooh, or I can consecrate. Consecrate. There. Hmm. I think I almost have to. I think this is right. I think I have to play the truce over here. Let me think. I think I might just trade the worgen and yeah, these two for this. True silver that. I wonder. Play a huge taunt. Hit him in the face. Yeah. For justice, move quickly. For justice. First. The battle. So now he needs a silence if he wants that snapshot to hit me for two. A silence or a shadow word. Shadow word I feel like he would have used on my Stormwind already, but I... well, okay. Uh oh. This is problematic. My control hurt a lot. I might have to use this Leroy. That's a little disappointing. That mind control was huge. Mind if I roll knee. Okay. They are bad okay. to my command. Reporting for duty. I've got four seven. I don't know that I can afford to ignore the board. I wonder. I do this to take two to five. I do wipe. Yeah. For justice. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, now that Leor is gone, I don't think I have any card that can outright win me the game. Also, my top end's almost completely gone. To oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my we god. Oh my god. Land. Okay. Alright, well played. Good job. And he had the Holy Smite. Ugh. With the Guardian Kings in my hand, that's... Uh, I, just, I think I just got greedy there. Alright, so in hindsight, Guardian Kings there is better than True Silver Ring. Because I can always... Once I take that 6, I can take it right back from Loot Hoarder. And, uh... And, and Spiteful Smith, but I have a board. That would give me lethal. What did it even give me lethal? 14 went to 11. Consecration would take him to 9. 5 plus 4 in the true silver, yeah. Okay. You asked for it. So I screwed I that up. Fight with honor. Sure, I'll keep this. 
Alright, so that's pretty disappointing. Nice, I messed up. Um, okay. Reporting for duty. You have a one mana spell? Get in there and fight, maggot. Oh, interesting. Alright. Oh, wish that showed up a little earlier. Almost certainly mirror entity. Right. I can let him have a blue gill. You shall not pass. Alright, sure. I try two for one for it. Alright. Crucible to rescue. I even get to gain a life. How amazing. Dingo! <laughs> yes. All right. Not that concerned about killing that right away. If he runs it into my harvest golem, I'll take it. Possibly a better play would, would have been to be Scarlet Crusader Elder Peacekeeper. Uh, but I guess this, the Tiger's also fine. The tiger's gonna kill the Shieldmaster no matter what. So when that happens, you know, I don't know if he thought he was going to kill my tiger or what, but unfortunately for you, it's not the way it works. Follow the rule. I think this is better than just playing Stormwind, because Stormwind he gets to trade his uh his sergeant for my tiger. No he doesn't. Uh oh. What is this? What is this? It's probably Probably mirror entity at the very least. Let's do this. No? Hmm. Join or die. Vaporize. 
gonna be a vaporize, I guess the Scarlet was not the worst thing to get vaporized. Could be worse. Oh wait, so it's got another one. Maybe another mirror energy. Let the pain speak to me. Interesting. Last warning. It's gonna die. Oh, no, ice barrier. Okay. Behold the might this of is my responsibility. This board is pretty flame strikeable, but I don't think there's anything I can do about that. I don't think I can play around the flame strike right now. All these, I mean, mm, uh, I guess I probably could have. That's probably a mistake, but I'm pretty sure he does enough flame striker. He would just snap use it right here. So I guess the uh, what? Oh, what? Oh. what? Okay. I mean, I won't complain, but that was a little weird. Should be three now. I'm two and one. What can you really do? Uther versus Malfurion. Except play better, of course. The one. I will fight with honor. I think this is fine against the druid. I wish I could code that right now. This class. is my responsibility. Fine with me. Play something small that I can Kodo. It's not likely on 5. The Druid, it's probably gonna be a Druid of the Claw or whatever. But hey, guy can dream. Hmm. I just can't imagine what he's holding if not Druids of the Claw. And Oh, okay, that works. This is my instruction. Not gonna bother. You have to come after me, son.
Scarlet Teacher. That's 4 5, which is fine. Oh, he's gonna swipe. Interesting. I guess it's not that interesting. Uh, that's a little sad. Follow the rule. Yeah, we this. This is my Reporting for duty. Maintain a board presence here. For now, he's gonna hit. Oh. It's a little unfortunate. Well, he's gonna get the hero power of my stuff down. But Kodo's gonna take care of his doggy. No, honestly, I just don't care. I mean, if he if he hero powers my stuff down now, he's doing me a favor. Because I'm just I might, I'm I'm getting to the point where I might just be able to go to the face with this true silver and have it what? be the best play. That's always a fun spot to be in. Okay, there's a boulder fist. Not exactly the biggest fan of boulder fists, I will say, but I do have lethal here. So for justice. Doesn't matter. GG. Versus Jaina. You asked for it. I will fight with honor. Uh, this is a fine hand against a mage. I like that. Something. It's a kind of money. Time for a little blood. The light protects me. Maybe should have hit the uh, Arden Square. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Interesting. Him to deal with the uh, with the Amani. I mean, he has he, he basically has to. There's there's no choice in it for him. Oh. 
Theory here is I'm going to make them come after me. Me, sir. The gates are open. Keep the hits coming. Got another one. Okay. Congratulations. It is frustrating, but you do. I go to seven. Another one? Polymorph number three? Fireball number one? What do you think? Well played. Well played. For justice! I just I just count on him not having more than two, I guess. You know, but uh, clearly that was too much to ask. Three polymorphs in a row. If he draws him, what can you do? You know, like it's not really it's not really rocket science here. For justice, dying immediately. Just go to the face. Play the Shattered Sun, but that's okay. I guess I have to dodge uh, Flame Strike still. Blizzard gets me pretty good, but there's nothing I do about that. I wonder. Follow the rule. Reporting for duty. All right, now I'm running out of cards. He drew a bunch, and I didn't. Flame strike. Hello, how are you? All played. Reporting for duty. We must cleanse the Sunwell. X marks the spot. All right, we got a two three. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me. Call. Class. Not on my watch. I'm ready to learn. 
he has flame strike number two, then I'm completely Push boned. But that was gonna be pretty much unavoidable anyway. You know, if he has three polymorphs and two flame strikes and draws them all, then well, hats off to you. Blizzard's the same thing. So I'm basically just screwed. You know, congratulations, flame strike blizzard, three polymorphs. What else did he use on me in this game? You know, it's just. For the king! For honor! Reporting for duty. There's not a whole lot I can do from this point out. Uh. Do you like to play with Okay, if he's got a spell here then. Some bad thing, yeah. Uh, okay, there's a frostbolt too. Nice deck. Very nice deck. Not like, you know. Reporting for duty. Despite all of that, if these are small guys that I can consecrate away again. I now have a one one paladin lead. Okay, that's not. Unfortunately. Okay. Follow the rule. The battle. Reporting for duty. All right. So we're both in uh in top deck mode here. I just expect mage top decks to be so much better though. Okay, there's a strangle thorn. I don't think it's gonna matter enough. Three, five, six. Oh, uh oh. Is that lethal? Three, five, six, nine, yep. Remain for justice. Well uh, BMM, because let's be honest, he deserves it. He lose with three polymorphs, a flame strike, a blizzard, and frostbolt. Then, you know, and it's like I guess my deck is not a slouch, so I shouldn't be talking. You know, I have five of the really premium cards in consecrates, true silvers, and. Uh, and that, that Hammer of Wrath, but, you know, the Blizzard, it, like, the, the, the mage AoEs are just, you know, and, like, the Polymorphs just took out, like, the, a, lot, a lot of decks wouldn't have been able to deal with what I was throwing at it in those middle turns. In retrospect, maybe I should have played, um, Scarlet Crusader, uh, Sun Cleric sooner, so that if you wanted to Polymorph something, you wouldn't be able to get both of them. So maybe I could have played that better as well. Uh, I kind of like these cards, even though they're all threes. So I'm playing the Paladin Mirror. Let's make a guy. Let's make a guy. Let's make a guy. All right. Reporting for duty. Then I am going to shatter this on him. And then I am going to I don't know, peacekeep or something. We must cleanse the sun. Oh no, or he's gonna he's gonna get there first, unfortunately. Well. Very strong three. He should get on my face here, because he, he should know I'm gonna trade. I 
Next turn I might just go into Venture Co. It's always risky to play Venture Co into a Paladin though, you know, if he has followed the rules, the rest of your hand suddenly becomes very unwieldy. Maybe on maybe instead I should go like Fairy Dragon Shattered Sun or something like that. That might be better. Yeah, he got one solid lick in on me, but should hardly matter. Let me think. Let the pain speak to me. Not on my watch. Don't mind if he. Okay. We must cleanse the sun well. Him because I think I'm just gonna hammer that rather than trade. Smash him in the face for nine. Hmm. Not on my watch. Hmm. Reporting for duty. Really care that much about that bubble three two. Let me Either way, it's think. gonna trade two for one for one of my things. So I think the right for player. The king. For honor. Let's see this. So this is consecrate, and so be it. I'll wipe my board, it'll leave me two guys, he'll be able to hit one, I'll trade the other off, and I'll play a uh, Amani Ventrico. He's got a lot more cards than me, but I've got a lot more on the board, so if he doesn't have Consecrate here, I think I'm in a pretty good spot. I think I can risk it. Hmm. Forward. Yeah, yeah, 
Alright, so now I'm also Consecrate Proof for the most part. I mean, as Consecrate Proof as you can be with three creatures with one toughness. <laughs> oh, this could be potentially worse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, so that was better than con well that was basically consecrate, except I only did one damage to my ventrico, which he's now gonna kill. Which is a little sad. Almost certainly gonna trade with the two one, or at least that's what he should do. Maybe I should have activated it, but Paladin has a bunch of 2 damage spells. Well, I guess it doesn't have a bunch of 2 damage spells. Maybe I should have activated it. Either way, they're always playing the Kodo, so... I guess I, I guess I should have a 5-2 and a 3-5 right now. Success. That's probably gonna kill the Amani in the next round we'll play Guardian of Kings and hopefully own the board. 50-50 shot for it to hit something I care about. Oh. Huh. Face? Pretty sure I'll race you. Five, eight, twelve, eighteen. So oh, quite lethal. Let me think. Squire, attend me. Okay, so I can't afford Ready, sir. to Ready, sir. Do I draw? For justice. Who you want me to kill? Alright. You win. Reporting for duty. So I still have a second true silver to draw, so I have two consecrates to draw. Use my hammer. I have a storm wind to draw. Pay attention, class. Not on my watch. Reporting for duty. 
Maybe that's a mistake if he draws mind control tech, but at, at this point, there's almost, you know... I don't think there's a ton I can play around necessarily. If the Snapjaw eats my 2-2, I'm gonna eat it with the 5-6, and it's not even close. I've got a heat! Okay. These are kind of mysterious plays here. Reporting for duty. Oh, okay. Well, this is very bad for him, clearly. Behold the might of storm wind. The battle. Six, ten, thirteen. Vengeance. Vengeance. This is my responsibility. Well, if you want to go to the face, two can play at that game. I should have also. Damage. The victory. Well played. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm on five with a pretty reasonable paladin deck, in my opinion. Uh, gonna have to take a little break for now. Uh, but when I come back, hopefully this run continues uh, on a pretty reasonable pace. So, see you in a sec.